Hogan draws hundreds of outdoor enthusiasts into the wilderness each year. Since bears live in almost every state, the chances of you having an encounter with one are very high. Black bear attacks and incidents have increased dramatically over the past 50 years. And with more humans and vehicles heading into our national parks, the number of cars destroyed by bears has also increased. I've come to a spot where black bears have attacked several vehicles to see firsthand what happens when they do. I set up my predator shield inside the van to witness what these destructive bears are capable of. And it doesn't take long for the bears to show up. Holy moly, look at this. Uh, We've only been here about an hour and I've got two black bears already trying to get in the vehicle. Uh, wow. Whoa. Black bears like grizzlies have an amazing sense of smell. I mean, I was eating food up here in this car earlier, and as you can see, they're all over this vehicle. The first thing I learned is that they're unbelievably bold. As I listen to their claws scratch the windows and their teeth scrape the metal siding, the van rocks side to side. They're just digging to get in here. I'm working on the latch and the window. That is not the side I would want to see if I was not in this predator shield. Holy schmoly, look at that paw. These bears are unpredictable and cunning. As they get used to more humans visiting their terrain, they're less and less afraid of them. Can you imagine waking up to that right there? Black bears have learned that human food is just as delicious as what they can find in the woods and it can be a lot easier to hunt. They seek out foods with high caloric value, just like that which is found in human food. into the poultry of the car the way that these are. I mean, they're basically testing the seats, they're testing the carpet, they're pulling it. I mean, they literally have trashed this vehicle. Bears take exploratory bites of everything that might be food. Sometimes what they taste is edible, like berries and plants. But when it's not, they know how to deal with that, too. They just puked everywhere. <laughs> Nearly two hours had passed before the black bears had tired of looking for food in my van. They finally made off back into the woods for a more substantial meal, allowing me time to get out of the predator shield and meet up with Tom Smith, our bear expert, to analyze the damage. Tom, come take a look at this. This was insane. Yeah, it's destroyed, isn't it? Can you believe two black bears did this? I had one come in the passenger side, I had one come in the driver's side, and they just proceeded to rip the whole interior of this thing apart. Yeah, it's real typical of what you see in black bear invasions into vehicles. You know, you really can't hide food from a bear. They can smell it, and if they can see it, they've really got motivation to get into a car. And they go way beyond the food. They start testing everything, and this is what you get. It's just destroyed. You put something in bear country that's not natural, it just hits their senses like, wow, i got to look at that. Normally, they maybe just look in the windows, but if there's food, now you got a stimulus. 
once they're in, I'm sure they ate what food was there, and then, then they went into this exploratory mode and started ripping everything out. The problem is now they know what cars are about, and they will think that there's food in all of them, so it creates a real problem down the line as well.